Hello everyone, it's Melissa and I am back with a little bit of a different layout today. And for starters, I am going to insert a picture here and it is of a 12 by 12 piece of jelly bean soup minestrone sliced leek paper and have it's been in my stash forever and I was going to challenge myself to fussy cut the butterflies and get it used up. So that's what I'm going to show you here, the actual paper and the stack of butterflies that I had left over. And okay, so I, I don't remember how many I had, but you saw I had a handful. So I decided to challenge myself to make 10 cards, vary up the cards and incorporate what little bits from my stash that I needed to, to make this happen. So I decided to make, my son is in sixth grade. He has two teachers, two block teachers. And this is in fact the last year that my kids have a home block teacher. From now on, it'll be high school and just moving around in middle school. So uh, this is bittersweet, but every year I make the teachers a gift, uh, several gifts throughout the year. You've watched my channel, you know that I do that. I try to be as generous with my, um, you know, time and supplies as possible. Uh, I'll throw in a gift card and something else and make the actual card for the teachers uh, later on. But for right now, I've got some of the gift made. So I went into my stash and I pulled two of these Stampin' Up. They're like a Chevron craft paper with white bag. I added a butterfly, considering that is sort of the theme of the cards inside here. I added a uh, the word teacher with a die cut from Simon Says Stamp, and just a piece of pattern, or piece of cardstock that I wrapped around there. I ran some crochet twine and a button through the um, hole. But one of the great things about giving gifts like this, now I will go ahead and put this in the teacher's mailbox at school in, her, in their cubby, but it's a perfect time when you're making stuff like this and decorating the outside of packages to use up those really bulky items because I don't like to put those items in my scrapbooks because I don't like the bulk. Like even my flair, when I do have flair, actual flair, and I'm not making it myself, I squish it down. I flatten it down with... Um, some of the tools that I have in my stash just because I just, I don't like the bulk. So both of these are just about the same. I have two of them. And so I'll go ahead and show you. There's some differences, but they're basically the same. And like I mentioned, I pulled out items for my stash to kind of fill in where I thought I needed a little extra. And so here we go. So right off the bat, you can see that these two are similar but different. Um, one of the, the problems that I ran into was a handful of the butterflies were going off the page, flowing off the page. And so some of these, these are strategically placed so that like if there is a void, like this one off the page, I tucked the wing. So no one is the wiser basically. And yeah, I did that for both of these just to make sure like um, you know, like if this was cut off on the paper and, uh, so I had to be, uh, a little bit creative with how I was um, doing this, but essentially I used, uh, stamp set from Technique Tuesday. You are awesome. And if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I used in this video, I'll do my best to answer them. A lot of this stuff is not available anymore. So, um, but go ahead and ask. And I mean, I have the packaging so I could totally look it up. So um, I used some vanilla cardstock for my stash, some uh, like a blue cardstock for my stash, and I kind of, this whole stack I kind of kept in the very neutral fun. Um, obviously this one's rainbow, but you'll see as we go on. Um, I added some sequins for my stash, and that's it. Just some um, envelopes. So that's that. Then the next one is the RSVP size, and these two are almost the same except, um, well I'll explain this one. This one I used an embossing folder. And I get great texture. This is on a white core cardstock. I get great texture with my embossing folder if I missed it, like uh, minimally with some water, run it through, let it dry uh, before it, before I let it dry too much. If I'm going to add any color, in this instance, it was Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. I do that at that time as well. So that's what I did here. And I let it dry 
I cut it down. This is a Kaiser Craft. Uh, it's kind of like a fun circle mesh. I've used it before with some white or some clear and gold Stampin' Up vellum for my stash. Just use some gold thread for my stash, a gold enamel dot. And you can see here, these two are in fact from the paper. I've dimensionalized all these butterflies. This happy birthday is from Mama Elephant. I just embossed it on a brown cardstock with gold. And I've stamped sentiments on the inside of all of these. And so then this one, the difference is I had to go into my stash and cut from an olive cardstock with a Stampin' Up! butterfly die and get that to um, kind of look the same. But either way, love them both. Both very, very cute. Now this one here, just changed it up a little bit just because I had a lot more olive butterflies and changed the paper. This is in fact the back side of the butterfly paper from Jelly Bean Soup. And then this was just a red with like a orange polka dot from my stash. And I stamped You Are The Best. That's a Felicity, no, stamp, that's a Studio Calico stamp on a piece of craft with some brown ink. And yeah, I really like how these turned out. Like I said, trying to keep it neutral. So you'll see there's very subtle um, colors. So this one, same thing. I used some vellum that I colored green with an alcohol marker. I put it behind there, added some uh, like jute craft colored twine, hello friend I stamped there and I used a button. Again, this was one butterfly and this one I changed up only because uh, that was the last red big butterfly I had. These are two smaller ones. So same card basically, just switched up a bit. Uh, this next one is three by six. And this is fun because it fits into the smaller business size envelope. But essentially what I did here is I used some watercolor paper and I used some uh, Salty Ocean Distress ink. I put it on the back, let it dry, hit it with some gold Heidi Swap dots and some mist, some gold. Or No, this is actually orange thread for my stash, some buttons. And this is from Stampin' Up! It's like a frame stamp and I just stamped it off and then this thanks and this one pretty much the same only you know had to change up the colors to go with my go with my color scheme and that's it and so like I said I will make some cards that actually say um, you know some sort of sentiment on there for the teacher just you know showing my appreciation and probably include a gift card for the end of year gift but but yeah you guys i appreciate you watching if you like this video if you have any questions um just leave them in or leave me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave any questions in the description or in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them i'll put my social media links in the description box below to facebook and instagram and yeah i'll be back with more but thank you so much for watching and i will be back soon bye guys